Okay, now that our cake is baked, and you see it is a nice flat top, I'll just trim off a little bit of that dark edge, but not now, I do that later. Right now, I'm just loosening the cake from the cake pan. I'm using an offset spatula to scrape around the inside of the pan, loosening the cake from the cake pan itself. Uh, be careful, the cake might still be hot. Since the cake has been cooling for 10 minutes in the pan, it is now time to flip it over and let it continue to cool to room temperature. So place your cooling rack on top of your cake and just flip it all over at one fell swoop. Yep, there you go. And we see that we still have the parchment paper on there. By the way, look at the inside of the pan. It came up pretty cleanly, didn't it? Don't forget to take that parchment paper off. You wouldn't want to eat that. After allowing the cake to completely cool to room temperature, you should be able to touch it. We will want to wrap it up with some type of plastic wrap. If you notice, the cake looks pretty level, doesn't it? I won't have to trim too much off the bottom of this cake, just that little bit of dark crust. And that's because we use that wet towel when it baked. All right, laying down the plastic wrap on my counter surface, I then put down a cake round, or you could put down a plate, whichever is gonna work for you. Take your layer of cake and place that on the cake board, and then loosely wrap it with plastic wrap. Don't wrap it so tight that you're gonna distort the cake itself. This is very important to do when putting the cake into the fridge because it will cause it to dry out if, of course, you don't protect your cake. And the reason why I cool my cake before I work with it is because a cool cake is much easier to work with, a cold cake, as a matter of fact. So I just wrap it up. There you go, it's gonna be airtight. Stick it in the fridge. And when I get ready to decorate it or to cut it, it's going to work so much easier for me. It won't fall apart and, and break.